Welcome back. Joining us in studio today, we have Michelle and Thomas. Y'all, I'm so excited because when you're both here, it means that we are getting ready yes. for the World Championship Gumbo Cook-Off. Yeah. Yes, it's coming October 14th and 15th in downtown New Iberia. I can't believe it's already yes. a like it, it feels like it was last month yes. I, I saw know. you eating gumbo. And judging. Oh, let me tell We ate so much good gumbo what can people expect this year how many people are competing so there's 70 teams a little over 70 teams again this year we're full we have no yeah. more room for teams and so uh saturday is the creole cajun food fest lots of different cajun creole foods the meanest beans contest our youth gumbo cook off is at 3 30 that afternoon bands all day saturday from 10 a.m till 7 7 p.m sunday granddaddy of all gumbo cook off world champion you're not going to find a better bowl of gumbo no. than in your area that weekend. You're really not. And there's over 70 teams, probably about 90 different kind of gumbos, or I say different kind, different pots of gumbo, I yeah. should say. And so it's it's cooking, bands again Sunday, 10 to 3.30, cooking, it was serving starts at 11, the judging and announcements at 3.30, and we hope to have some winners again this year. And cool weather. Cool and weather, cool yeah. weather. For cool weather. Hint, hint, Adam <laughs> Olivier over there in the Weather Center, we need cool weather for the gumbo cook-off. And Michelle Savoise is a sponsor Yes. Tell us about this. Well, it was just something that made sense for us. We live in a community that is family oriented, full of festivals, full of eating, cooking. We are the originators of Ruin a Jar. And so we just saw that Savoise needed to come and be a part of this because it's what we do well. Yeah. We have andouille, sausage, roux, we provide tasso, anything you need to put in a gumbo to make it delicious. Definitely make that gumbo a lot yes. better yes. too, let me and, tell and you. And we love Savoise mm -hmm. being a part of the gumbo cook-off. And it's like she said, you know, it's a family event, yeah. family company. The marriage of that for gumbo cook-off is phenomenal. Yes, lots of fun. It's a fun time, and if you've never been to the World Championship Gumbo Cook-Off, just the smell alone, yes. that Sunday morning mm. when everybody starts cooking. 5 a.m. and you're already yes. getting Oh my God, you could <laughs> be aroma. driving into Iberia Parish and you just get hit with the smell of gumbo that day. What yes. are you most looking forward to? Just, you know, the people again that come out, it's a great event. It's a family event. There's no ticket to get in. Nice. The only ticket you would need is whatever gumbo or food or drinks you want on the two days. The music that, you know, we don't let people bring ice chests or pets, mm -hmm. but other than that, you know, just seeing people that you haven't seen. There are people that come from all over. Yeah. We've had teams one time from Canada, one wow. time from Japan. So there are teams that come from all over the United States, sometimes outside of the United States. But it is a weekend that people come on home right. and yeah. they come to New Iberia and they're coming back to spend time where they grew up and gumbo cook off, family reunions, you name it, high school football, all of that going on. And it just... That not a better time to have a great bowl of gumbo than and October 14th And Sidewalks will have other products yeah. to kind of break that palate up. So, so you can go check them Some out good too. Tastings. We're out of time, but how can people learn more? Just look at our website at iberiachamber.org slash gumbo cook-off. Y'all, thank you so much for joining for us. us. Of course. Good to see you. Can't wait good to see to, you soon. I know. <laughs> I cannot wait for the gumbo championship. You guys, if you want to learn more, head to klaf.com. Let's check in with Adam Olivier.